And we're back with another episode of Cult Classic Neo. I'm your host, one Michael T. Shamborn III. Thank you so much for joining us. We are on our way to get a wave beam and then hopefully on our way to take out the boss Ridley, Ridley, Hidley, whatever his name is, Hillary. That's what we're going to call him, Hillary. That's what we're going to call him. Anyway, all of my silliness aside, the whole purpose of this show on Throwback Thursday was really to showcase just how much I loved Metroid, but apparently it also turned into a show about how much I suck at Metroid, <laughs> which is great. I mean, it's a testament to me, honestly, of how great the game is. It just is. And I got fake lava, yo. I mean, just that this design idea, like think about it the first time you fell in here and you were terrified and you realize, oh, I'm good. Keep it moving. We live to fight another day. Now, I'm not 100% in remembrance of what we're going to find in here, but we're going to find some dragons. Uh, Reggie's dragons. God bless you, Reggie. Just get up there. Just You can't make that jump, you monkey's uncle. Get up, man, please. I remember this part well. Just shoot it. Just shoot, blow everything up, up. <laughs> Don't blow everything. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> All right, so that puts us uh, here. I'm trying to figure out what the purpose of, because clearly this is what's getting ready to happen here, or is it this one? Or is it this one? It's one of them. No, one of them is a blow-up machine there. So I guess the decision we have to make here is do we want the wave beam? Or would we prefer to uh, stick with the old ice capades here? Alright. Should be nothing below us. Wait a minute. How? Then how? God bless it. I'm going to get these missiles though because I'm going to need them. For Mother Brain, even if I don't need him for Brother Ridley. And I feel like I've got enough enough health to sustain myself at least through this room. Big Red! Big Red! Ah, Red. That should be 20. It is. Excellent. It was worth the trip. I'll tell you, Screw Attack makes... It's such a necessity. In this. I remember the first time I got Screw Attack, I was like, oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you in the Lord's name. But like I said, the, the dilemma here is do you get the wave beam or do you stick with the ice beam? Now, the good news is we'll be able to get the ice beam. Um, I really feel like that should have been a kill, but it wasn't and whatever. Ooh, got hung up, got hung up. Look, I mean, think about that design. Like, that was on purpose. That little hook there was designed to keep you from making that jump. Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like I should have made that jump. That was odd, but we'll go with it. No worries. Jump up. Come on, baby. Get in there. Get in there. All right. Get. Okay. Now, I'm just taking inventory of where I'm at. We're good here. Almost. Oh, you know what? We're not going to get to Brother Ridley's hideout from here. That kind of sucks, actually. And me and this dragon are about to have words. You hear me, dragon? Yep, I remember this part too, and you can't fall. You fall in the wrong one of these, it's a rap <laughs> game. But that's just mean and unnecessary, at least in this one guy's opinion. Now, oh, what the freckles? I can't fight the stupid dragon. All right, let him get his little kicks off. And then drop down in there. I'm killing this dragon. Oh, that felt good, G. Oh, killing dragons out here. They don't know me. Call me the dragon killer. Because I kills some dragons. You would be right in the flight path. So the idea here, design-wise, you've got to think before you jump. Let him shoot. Don't let blue shoot, because that's going to hit you. Dude. <laughs> <Can you? laughs> and we have a wave beam, friends. Thank God. 
See, the way it looks here, we're not going to be able to get to Ridley's hideout from here. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this last uh, pack of missiles. And then from there, I'll adjourn this episode. And then what I'll do is I'll pick back up going into Ridley's hideout. I think that's going to be the best way to handle this. Is the dragon back? Yeah, he's back. Get him. Mm, love shooting that dragon. I shoot that dragon every day. It was up to me. Shoot him right in his face. Just, you dead, dragon. So here's where this beam comes in handy. It's our little purple buddies. They can't escape the magic. I love the slowdown, too. Like, it's just so dope. Cause so much is happening on the screen. And so you can just tear this apart. Wait a minute. This is why why are you not working, gun? Get up. Good God. But why is that not the thing that's happening right here? It, I press jump. Better get your act together. You don't know me. I shot 13 people just today. Please just get get in the hole. Thank you. The funny thing is, I'm doing all this for one pack of missiles. <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. One pack of missiles. It's like your father yelling at you. Like, all you got out of the deal was one pack of missiles. Oh, get up, please. Why is this gun not able to shoot things? <laughs> I don't understand this game. Ooh, that was sexy. Here comes the dragon man. Do not fall in the lava hole. Believe you me. You don't want any of that noise. Is Big Red here? You know he's here. I don't know why you asked that. You know Big Red's gonna come to the party. Now I wish there was a way to get out of here that was easy. We can get to Ridley's hideout, but nope, just a big old brick wall. Nothing you can do. Not a dang gum in the world. So funny that I forgot there's two ice beams in this game. It has clearly been a long time since Metroid and I have hung out. And down the hole, I told you, you can't fall down here. And why didn't Screw Attack kill that fool? Oh, we might be done, dude. This might be a wrap for us. Yep, we're done. That's what I'm saying, one, one bad jump. And you're dead. But it actually works in our favor because getting back up to where we have to go is far. And I'll just let the Samus's health run out. I'm telling you, this game is not a joke. They keep it real. And Metroid, you better believe that. All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and adjourn here. We will pick back up at the elevator to Ridley's hideout. We'll go to Ridley's hideout, get some uh, power packs, do some killing, hopefully. Have us a good time. Love you guys. See you on the next one.